Senator John McCain, R. Arizona, may have only days left to live, but his adversaries aren't going to let his final moments go by without a bit of conflict. On Thursday morning, McCain received a ruthless going-away gift from the White House, and now, his family is furious. People reports that a White House official mocked Senator John McCain's brain cancer diagnosis just three weeks after the politician underwent surgery for an intestinal infection. The remarks were reportedly made on Thursday morning, one day after the Republican announced that he opposed President Donald Trump's nominee for CIA director, Gina Haspel. It doesn't matter, he's dying anyway, special assistant Kelly Sadler allegedly said during a closed-door meeting at the White House. The White House responded to the comments in a statement, saying, We respect Senator McCain's service to our nation and he and his family are in our prayers during this difficult time. McCain's wife, Cindy, 63, tweeted at Sadler on Thursday, writing, at K E L L Y S A D L E R 45 May I remind you my husband has a family, seven children and five grandchildren. John McCain, 81, was diagnosed with brain cancer in July 2017 after undergoing a surgery to remove a blood clot above his eye last summer. He was hospitalized in December to treat side effects related to his cancer therapy. More recently, McCain underwent surgery in April after contracting an intestinal infection. Meghan McCain, the senator's daughter and a co-host on ABC's daytime talk show The View, offered an update on her father's condition at the time, tweeting, My father at St. John Cain is in stable condition, he continues to inspire me every day with his intense grit and determination. Thank you to the doctors at Mayo Clinic in Phoenix and to everyone who is praying for him. On Tuesday, Meghan asked the general public to stop discussing her father's funeral, as he has not yet passed. It's just insensitive, and it's not appreciated at the moment, she said Tuesday on The View. Many conservatives have taken issue with Senator John McCain's more centrist politics over the years, but now is not the time to pass judgment or play partisan games. Rather, it is a time to reflect on McCain's service as a member of the military and of the U.S. government and to pray for his family as they spend what are likely the senator's last.